What's up guys? This is the Roafman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire, my Napoleon Total War 3 Let's Play as the Swedish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we have um, pretty decisively defeated the, the Prussians mostly in Central Europe. So what we're going to do is we are going to isolate and destroy our Italian enemies to allow us to advance against the Ottomans further east. So without further ado, we've got this force under Sven Settisberg, backed up by Mr. Berglund trying to annihilate this um, Sicilian force, which, to be honest, is just a bunch of militia. Let's take him out. We don't want to make them surrender. I want to. I want one army to attack this city and recover. Then another army will advance up towards Naples. We've got two armies near Rome ready to deal with the Papal States when they decide. Um, they want to get all uppity. And my forces to the north that took Britain are still going to continue their advance. So I might put... Hmm. Let's get... Okay, first of all, let's just form a, a mighty line. Spread the Kurgan out. Got my light infantry. Ultimately, the terrain is a bit awkward in this one. Well, as indeed they are mostly. I mean, here's the best spot for guns. That's right in their deployment zone. So, that is where the guns will go. Let's put my cavalry up between lights and lifeguards. Good. Mr. Zettisberg in the centre. Take the initiative. In that. So, I'm gonna, I mean, I'm going to send my guys to advance quite a significant distance. Get my guns moving. Not entirely sure where they'll be. Yeah, push my cavalry up. Should push you guys up just to the edge of the woods. And my general is going to advance, and then we're going to speed up time because I have no idea where they are. They're not jostling around the general staff, which is good to know. But they are, they're probably all bunched up somewhere, but I don't know where. Oh well. Continue the advance. Soon we will get eyes on. Cavalry and his forces. Quite. Um, <laughs> quite uh, elite. Aha! Very well. Fantoria de Linea. I mean, they look pretty good. But I'm going to assume they are in a line formation rather than stacked up because of how these guys are split up. In which case then, don't make my cavalry move. I don't want to provoke them into advancing. I want to get my infantry, my cavalry, my infantry, sorry. It is my infantry. Up into position. If they're here, then my left flank is going to flank around and trap them while my right holds. They haven't got to win, they've just got to hold. Okay, my infantry line begin to run because it's starting to get 13th Regiment of Militia. There you go, they advance up thinking, oh look, it's just a skirmisher unit, when suddenly, oh no. Foot Jaeger didn't advance. Okay, let's experiment. Let's see if we can work out where these chaps are hiding. Get my general over onto the right flank. I'm not going to pivot this flank. We're going to be in a bit of a one on one slugfest against the militia. Uh, 
Hello. So we found out where they were hiding. So my foot Jaeger are going to have to double time it up into position. You might go take advantage of their sluggish deployment and advance. Curious to see what these guys decide to do. It does mean, are they in... well, I'm not quite sure where they are. The cavalry's still moving up because they'll have a great time against these militia. Okay, there we go, yeah, pouring volleys into the 13th. Make my line run because we're about to begin the war. Yeah, my cavalry hold position. My light horse are hidden, my horse guards are visible. So continue trading. <coughs> well, continue trading shots. Probably want to do something more like this, I would imagine. Maximize my firepower both into the flank of the 13th. There you go. The 10th light horse burst out of the trees, as do the 9th horse guards. But my Fault Jaeger are going to probably open up. But I don't think they're going to be. No, come on. You're going the wrong way. Enemy general staff is going to charge my line. They're more than welcome to. My howitzers begin to unlimber. There we go. So that's an enemy unit pushed back. So you chaps continue chasing down the enemy there. But then withdraw. Probably don't want to push you guys up too far. Probably want to drive south into these units to support the horse guards. And the new men go straight on to the 22nd Regiment, granted their line infantry. Keep the Snowball going on that flank. You men wheel back. Let's get my cavalry back into a position where they can they can recover. Get my guns up on the hill. Get my howitzers closer up. These guys are engaging. Engage the enemy center. Cavalry's engaging the 12th. You men set up to engage the 20th rapidly. See, this is the thing about having such elite cavalry is that they do quite a quite a job on the enemy infantry. And this is a militia militia regimento. Light horse chase them down. Horse guards chase down the general staff. general up to back up the militia, get my cavalry to push up on the flank one more time. My militia are wavering. There goes the enemy general's bodyguard. Pull my horse guards Sir. back. Sir, our general is under attack. Spire. Rally the men. The 
bridge. You guys could probably unlimber from there. You guys just get up to the top of the hill and start engaging. Withdraw my cavalry just to make sure they try and regain some stamina. Understandable that my militia are upset. There we go, you men hit the enemy right flank. I mean, you're a foot Jaeger. There goes the 11th regiment, on into the 16th. On into the 7th. I use my militia to more decisively defeat the 20th, but they may rout themselves because bayonet charges are a bit dicey. My cavalry are rolling up the right flank. That's a square formation, alright. Unlimber my 12 pounders. You can chase them away. Second have come back, so I might get my light horse to go deal with them. So my twelves, when they're in limber, they're going to pound the square formation. Pull my general back because he's starting to get a bit upset. A glorious victory, sir! It's soon to be yours. Let's try to get my howitzers to bombard the right flank. Draw the cavalry a little bit more. Okay, you guys deal with the 22nd. My infantry unit's going down. Let's push up my cavalry again. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. So the guy is chasing down the enemy infantry. Continue to attack them, but just don't worry about it. An infantry de linea de conscripti. They try and chase down my cavalry, and that's not going to work. Okay, let's continue to wrap around the flanks. Militia, both bayonet charge. The infantry, it could go badly wrong, but no, there we go. Guns are going to try and pound the 23rd. Cavalry attack the conscripti, bring my cavalry back from pursuing the defeated enemy. Horse guards chase down the 21st foot. Foot Jaeger charge them in the flank. Just to add to their morale woes. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. And there they go. Push my horse guards on, make my foot Jaeger form up. They probably won't come back at this point. You guys continue to harass the enemy. Let's pivot you guys to bring my Indelta up on the flank, ready to bayonet charge. Firing amongst the trees. 12 pounders engage the 20th. Okay. Bring my cavalry back. Just a second, everyone. The 
Apologies for that. Uh, okay. These guys can come back and chase down the 23rd. Horse guards are attacking the general staff. There they go. Pouring fire into the 9th. You men hit them in the flank. The Delta hit the 10th regiment on the flank. The men of fatigue, sir, and must rest. You men cease fire and redeploy towards the centre. Lifeguard exhausted they are, but both of my cavalry units are going to attack the 6th regiment. I've answered my infantry line to face these last remaining units. You guys attack the 23rd. You men form up before we worry about pushing too much elsewhere, although, to be honest, my general is here. Mass bayonets to end the battle. Get Mr. Zettisberg up front, get my guns to cease fire. Get him in here. Pump the trumpets. There's one. Ah, oh, the general staff came back. Oh, there's an artillery piece. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Chase them down. Kurgan and Minfinska. There we go, some good bayonet charges. And that is the enemy general killed over there as well. Excellent experience across the board for quite a few units. My infantry units have gained some experience. Excellent. You men attack the gunners because they are all that remain. Although it's probably... Speed up time just because that's going to take not very long. go. Excellent. So that's our first territory on the Italian peninsula secured. Well, Sardinia really. We're going to peacefully occupy Palermo because we need to rebuild... Oh, noises. We need to repair the buildings. We need to get you over to Syracuse to boot out the... Well, Napoli. In your Napoli, Sicily. Boot them out. Curious to see where you guys go. If you guys leave and advance to the north to try and support the, pap uh, the Pontifical States, I should say, that won't work well. We've got this force up here that's coming back to Europe. These two armies are waiting for their sloops to be recruited. You're already getting a sloop to be recruited, plus some merchantmen. Not that I really need them. Elsewhere in Europe, we are just positioning ready for the next war. Well, this is the main, this is the focus. Keep positioning, get these troops up over to Finland, ready to cross the strait. Which means one of my navies is going to be finally brought in to be used to bottle up this fleet here in Straya Ladoga. Then we're going to attack St. Petersburg and then push and hit Novgorod, maybe go toward the west, toward Riga. Good times. Lots of good stuff's going on. In terms of recruitment, uh, you're already shifting, ready to redeploy against the Russians. Your recruitment's still strong. Got a good amount of troops here in Finland. Good. It's an intern. Probably going to get attacked by the Papal States. Pontifical States. I'm not particularly bothered by that. I was... I kind of wanted to fight. Ooh! Oh, I forgot we we're sieging Warsaw. Yes, very well. Let's let's defend against the Prussians. Although, to be honest, 
attacking them is the is, is is quicker it's a lot quicker and they've got blue on the field again who has been killed once on the battlefield once by auto resolve because he was on his lonesome and now again he will be wounded so let's Kanthira could go go on the defensive but I'm not going to it's a good piece of high ground actually for the guns I originally intended to advance with my line advance with them as part of my line but it would appear okay you men are going to secure that way my grenadiers and lifeguards are going to help secure the hill for the guns my light infantry are going to be on the right and again as is tradition a mix of light and heavy cavalry on both flanks is probably the best decision So I'm gonna get my. I mean, they are oh, they get defenses because they are we were um, fighting them in a siege battle. So yeah, that makes sense. How it's probably don't need to go up super far. And my grenadiers. Yeah, lancers. The howitzers. I mean, most of their troops are quite depleted. Well, they're actually are still stronger than ours, but then again, they are militia units, so. They aren't exactly fantastic. They're sending up cavalry against us already. Not that we're completely bothered by that. Maybe you're going to hit my... We're going to hit my square, so I'm not actually going to commit my cavalry, because you're going to be de defeated anyway. My infantry can carry on as they were. I mean, they'll probably come back. They've not lost a huge amount of men. But when they come back, they'll be um, tired. How it is unlimber. It's not going mad. But deploying my infantry. Most of it. I mean, ultimately, it looks like this flank's going to be able to wrap around quite nicely. Okay, so it looks like there's a very clear focal point. This area, and they are also bombarding it with... Well, the bombarding it with artillery fire and howitzer fire, so I want to focus my fire against this mass. The guard Jaeger are here. Okay, let's commit my cavalry. The cavalry can't charge because it's blocked by their garrison units. Get my howitzer units to barrage. This is where I need my general's bodyguard. Put Jaeger fall back. You men form square because any leakers we get through can be quite quickly defeated. I have not been moving my cavalry. Push them up to the left flank quite aggressively. Run my foot Jaeger away. You men form square to defend yourselves in the absence of most cavalry. My infantry is beginning to engage the Prussian centre. My 12s have reached their position. They're going to slowly reorientate. Bring my lifeguard further in, get my light horse to push to fall back I should say. My 
my light infantry need to hit the militia in the rear pretty rapidly. My gunners on limber. Inspire your men. You men hit the light infantry. My cavalry can come back in. You men then it charge the garrison so my cavalry can continue moving. Doing some good work against the enemy at close range. You men redeploy. You men then it charge the militia so we can continue this advance. You men charge them. You guys have. I mean, the light infantry still trying. Cavalry attack, artillery attack the howitzer to the rear. There goes the enemy militia unit. Keep everyone on the move. My militia counter charging. Running, and they then broke. My cavalry's doing a number on most of the enemy. My cavalry is starting to fall foul of their attacks as well. My cavalry now has to commit. Bayonet charge. There we go, I've seen them off. You men form your lines again. Cavalry's a bit isolated here, but General Staff, you're going down. You men can probably stand to bayonet general, charge. Now they must break. It's Mr. Falkenstein, but not Blucher. Russian garrisons reforming. Most of the Prussian force is gone. My hussars form up. There's Mr. Blucher over there in the distance. It's another general staff unit. We're going to start engaging them with musket fire. Make sure my line advances in a coherent ish manner. There's Mr. Blucher, he's charging my light horse. Actually, no, he's, he's after my howitzers. Not anymore, you nut. New men both hit the general staff. Probably not going to knock them out. These guys, though, my lifeguards and my grenadiers, they can continue to the charge. Are must rest a while. There's Blucher. He's feeling blue. Go hit the 10th Regiment Russian Garrison. Prussian Garrison, I should say. Because these are my foot guards. Where'd my fins go? Where'd my grenadiers? I thought they were on that flank. Oh no, they're all the way. Oh, poor fellows. My Delta can attack the gunners. It's the last unit of Prussian garrison. Yeah, they've broken under the threat of cavalry charge, not even a cavalry charge. A couple of these units, though, that are pursuing. We might try and, try and get some experience. 16th Regiment of Artillery is going down. Huzzah, they've been forced from the field. That could be Warsaw Hours. 
have been sieging it quite nicely. Yeah, there's, there's a whole Prussian army there I'm not bothered about because they're only really attacking Austrian territory, not mine. So I'll let them have at it. Yeah, there go my sloops. As expected, really. Bye bye. Yeah, you say catastrophe. But actually, in the grand scheme of things, they're the ones that have lost their uh, lost their territory. So Mr. Bergland, continue the advance to Naples. You men can push them out of Syracuse. Excellent. I mean, I'm, I'm almost 100% sure I can't leave the city. Yeah. We're going to bring it under control. Use the Syracuse, build a sloop. Yeah, they've deployed out. Well, ultimately, I want them to try and exploit this route here because then I'll jump onto Rome and take them out. Fleet destroyed. No, it's not really fleets destroyed, is it? Come on now. So. Come on, Rune. Just deploy your troops over on the Finland landmass, and then they can march the rest of the way. I mean, I'm pretty... Well, as long as I can get there without Russia declaring war on me, they should be fine. Because you're also on the move. Yep. Then we've got you deploying troops off of the coast. Your first move is going to go to Finland, because we're still recruiting a decent number of troops there. So you're recruiting five units. You have space for five, two more units. Let's get a militia and an indelta. Good. So you, good sir, will march to here to cover that crossing there. You've got that crossing. You've got then Warsaw. Ultimately, I'm not going to try and cover everywhere. I'm more than happy to take these things slow. We've built a gold mine there. I want to see what what um, pontifical states do. Yeah, I want what I want to do is take, it, take Italy, land in Athens and Istanbul and start to push up because then suddenly I can take Budapest and I'll have um, Austria surrounded quite nicely there. Lots of recruitment. Cool. To then turn. Go on, fight that Prussian army that's currently doing nothing. Fight them. They really don't want to intercept. I mean, I'm going to definitely going to auto that. Just 102 men. But we're going to peacefully occupy Warsaw because we have no need for the income. <laughs> They're just going to keep in and keep coming in and breaking their uh, steam engine factories. It sure looks like it. Okay, our front line with the Russians is being formed. Pontifical States isn't pushing. I mean, I'm happy if they don't want to do anything. They'll just let me bring my the rest of my troops to bear. You men form up. Eh, why the hell not? Build level 1 forts. You get to cover this bridge. You get to cover this bridge. You're gonna you kind of cover that bridge and also this land crossing here. Yeah, they're all based in Toronto. Okay, everything's rebuilt. How about now? Minus five. 
It's going to take a few turns, but again, I don't mind. I don't really mind that. When this area is under our control, both of these two will be as well, and we can get ready to attack Athens. But again, I'm, I'm happy to just wait and see what they do here, because if they let me take Naples, then I'll jump on them. Yeah, you get up to Finland. Ultimately, you're you're fine for uh, fine for infantry. So what we're going to do is we're going to recruit another general, Hagbarg Springporten, because he looks like an absolute trooper with one eye. Go on and get a twelve. I mean, I, I like the twelve and two howitzers. That's working. Two lifeguard Jaeger, and that's probably going to be it. Yeah, it is. Yep, yeah, Great Poland is ours. Supply Depot, Masonic Lodge, no schools are there, no. Good, we might soon get more spies. Trait gain, Mr. Lundberg. Yeah, you'd... he's doing good. Okay, yeah, you're going to keep pushing your one turn away from Naples. My armies continue... To redeploy. Ultimately, I could declare war on Russia before Italy's secured and before we're attacking the Austrians, the um, the Ottomans, because eventually we will attack the Ottomans. We'll land at Athens and push north. I mean, you can't do nothing to me. We're allies. Well, actually, no, we're not. Hmm. Okay, I might cancel their military access. Hey, beat back the Prussians. Mm, nearly gone. The garrison of Vienna's pushed out. Okay, they're consolidating. Prussia's not uh, giving up, though. It is winter, so I'm not going to be attacking Russia now. But it could be good to start and mo start knocking down Russian troops in the north, because then when we, when we break through in the Balkans... I mean, okay, they've abandoned their... Oh, there you go, the Ottomans are being depleted. So they've abandoned their... They must, have been, they must have been planning to ambush me. But they've abandoned the ambush, or I ran around it, and they declined the ambush. So now we advance up towards Naples, because Naples is full of regular troops. So if we take Naples, uh, that army disappears as well. That could have caused problems, but they're not moving. If we take Naples, if one of these armies tries to go south to take the city from us, we can defend it, and then sweep in and take Rome. But elsewhere, I think, if we have three armies here. I mean, we could push and take St. Petersburg, Novgorod, and have an army that could threaten Moscow. Maybe even if they cross this side of the river and get to this bridge, that could be quite advantageous. Especially as that's actually probably owned by Novgorod, so if we could take Novgorod and push an army here, any armies that come from Moscow we can defend, or we can defeat, and also replenish. We're really quite close to their capital. That'd be handy, but before we get too eager, let's take out Naples. So march in, push back there, we'll destroy their armies, take Naples, that will get them. The navies will be gone, their armies will be gone, and then suddenly, Rome is looking mighty isolated. Make sure our guys are properly... Deployed. Okay, good. You guys are like so. Both my Kurgan on the right. My Grenadiers, my Lifeguard, and my Light Infantry on the left. Six pounders. I mean, I might try and get them in my line. My twelves. Oh, I'm going to really do anything. The table. The, 
the map's too flat and I don't want to deploy them out too wide. It makes them more difficult to protect if something goes wrong. I think the I think the real the only real thing we can do here is advance the line and force them to do battle. Quite sure where they are, but let's assume they're around the general. You guys get up to the woods. I mean, my sixes and my twelves can be sort of a reserve. When things go bad, sometimes I like to redeploy back into a uh, prepared gun line. Hello. You're charging. She thought better of it. I mean, I'm inclined to let you come at me because it doesn't really take much to go square, square. Bring him in. That's actually not super good. Bring my heavy cavalry back. Bring my light cavalry back. And there goes their general. Draw them back into the squares. The rest of my line continuing to advance just like nothing happened. There we go. First regiment of horse pushing my squares and they're going to not do a super good job. back my cavalry my infantry line is getting quite spread out okay now they're depleted and tired they should be a bit easier to knock out you men are going to form a straight line of there my lifeguard Jaeger to push up same thing on this flank they're both beaten up more beaten up than my guys are, that's for darn sure. Can you guys cease fire, make ready and fire? Beautiful. Yep, now they've had enough of that. Do you see the enemy cavalry units are returning on the right flank? 92 left, 84 men left. The left is probably going to be a bit similar. How it is a limber, my indelts are just attack. Charge the general. Doesn't seem like he wants to do anything anyway. Then run up into the position. There, there's the second. Okay, right. Pull my lifeguard back. My horse guards hit the first regiment of horse. You men go after the sixth light horse. My cavalry should win. Because lots of the enemy units are tired. The general is nearby, but my infantry, my cavalry units are just better. Push on and attack the enemy general's staff. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. There we go. They've probably dealt with that. The cavalry on this flank's also done their job. Let's see how strong their foot guards are now. Go get him, lifeguard Jaeger. Does 
So this is my own foot guard unit. Hitting them in the rear. They're down. They're wavering. Yep, they're quite badly beaten. That means this, the sixth light foot, isn't going to like what's happening any better either. Okay, so where the hell is their infantry body? I'm assuming it's somewhere back here. They're shaken. My guys are confident but tired. Oh, my guys are foot guards. I get to deploy my cavalry to actually do something. Further exacerbated their desire to not get into much mischief. Grenadiers could probably do with being hit by my cavalry as well. The men right. are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. I'm quite sure they are. Go for the general staff. You men keep killing the grenadiers. Okay, right, you guys need to deploy a bit more like this. And you guys need to deploy a bit more like this. So on this flank, I've got a heavy cavalry in it ready to hit the 11th regiment. I mean, they're not going to come back. Okay, reform the cavalry on the right. My general up here as well. My howitzer can't do squat because he's too far away. Who are you chaps? Veteran line infantry. Second foot guards. They've lost a couple of guys but not too many. I need to trade blows with them while my cavalry pushes up the right flank. Most of my artillery there is not super useful. They're just going to try and keep the keep pushing the 11th regiment away. Keep my cavalry advancing. My horse guard's going to hit that guard unit. You guys are going to back them up with a bayonet charge. My Kurgan. He's a pretty good grand here, actually. Hiya! Keep the charge on. Yeah, they too have succumbed to the lure of the fleeing the bayonet. Who's that then? You go after them, you go hit the 11th. Okay, they've routed. Keep circling. Dragoons. Yeah, those guys aren't coming back. My light horse push on towards the rear where their artillery is hiding. Charge the sixth light foot, although they're wavering and we're not even in combat with them yet. There they go. The heavy cavalry is doing some good work against the 11th Regiment of Foot. They're veterans, but then again, they're veterans caught in line. General up here. 
because these Kurgan units fancy a bayonet charge. Once they de deliver their volley. Uh, not much of a volley. Get my militia to hit the first foot guard. Oh, foot guards. Get over here, Mr. Berglund. You might be needed to provide some support. God, yeah, get hit, hit, hit that company there. First foot guards, don't give a damn. We'll take the lot. There they go. They too have broken. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Let's continue forming. You guys push up. You're going to try and back them up as well. Cavalry hit the artillery. And Delta can hit this infantry de Ligne. Glorious victory, sir. a charge. Go hit the 3rd Regiment of Artillery. Yeah, they're all... None of them want to uh, really stand. 31st Regiment of Foot doing a real number on, on the Foot Guards. Go on, Bjorn Borg. Don't just walk towards them. You men slaughter the 3rd Regiment. That's my militia as well. You did good, kid. You did good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So that is Naples secured, which we're going to occupy. Good, good, good. Okay, so Toronto, build a sloop, banking house. Yeah, that's not bad. You guys are. I mean, I'm curious to see what they do. Ideally, I want them to attack me so I can defeat them in the open field. Although I could just siege them and see what happens. Well, lay siege them just to force them to make the conscious decision to attack me. Austria. Cancel military access. Back you go. Yeah, they're aware something's up. You men, well, no, not these men. You men hold the ship. Get to Kohlberg. Yeah, you men are also en route to deliver your troops. Two more units till that army's done. To be honest, if I may, I may deploy these guys into Europe and then make them run to towards down here, because Austria may. Austria might try to start something. Uh, sit and turn again. And if they do, then we'll jump on. We'll jump on them. We'll jump on Olmutz. We'll start to damage their forces near Vienna. Yeah, they're starting to reconstitute their armies ready for a future conflict. When I take Rome, that'll be four. Ooh, they've really replenished. Oh, go on, take Vienna. Uh, we've got the... We've got four armies in Italy. Two are going to land at Athens, two are going to land at Istanbul. 
Then we're going to begin advancing up the Balkans. Yep, yeah, yeah. God, the Ottomans won. They pulled, the, pushed the Russians back. Oh, yes. Oh, opportunity to intercept? No. Because I want them to stop about here and realise they can't get to us. <laughs> that is... That is just perfect. So there you go. They've pulled this army back. To be like, Let's go take Naples. And now, well, it's kind of more like warp, warp. First of all, let's take... Hey, oh, no, that's, a, that's a reasonable amount of artillery. So before we get too mad, just move them up. Pompeo Gabrielli and Karl Le Leodegar Pfeiffer von Altishofen. Regiment of the Linie, Militia, Skirmishes. Fine infantry, Skirmishes. I don't see any reg. I don't see. Ah, you got Grenadiers. That's not so bad. But yes, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to win the episode and defeat the Papal States and secure the Italian Peninsula. Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.